I built a LEGO Ferrari SF90 XX Stradali and in this video I'll be showing you how I built it. So let's get started. So I just started working on the Ferrari SF90 XX Stradali and I'm actually quite happy with how it's turning out. So to create the S-duct vents in the bonnet I used some rounded plates with a red plate in between. And then to create the headlights I used some wedge plates together with some round plates to create the side parts of the headlights. However, I'm not so happy that the headlights can also be seen from the sides. But for now, I will keep on building and we'll see where we end up. I've now completely finished building the front. So to cover up the earlier visible sides of the headlights, I used some panels. And then the second vents on the sides are placed half a stud lower than the other ones to make it look like it's sloping downwards. And then to finish off the bonnet I used some more wedge plates. However I'm not so happy to have all these exposed studs but I just don't think I can do anything about that. Now let's keep on building again. So as you might know, I've only built one Ferrari before this. And that's because I'm not the biggest fan of the latest modern Ferraris. However, I do quite like the SF90. So when I saw this being revealed, I immediately started building. So I worked a little further again and I've now built these sides. So they are mainly shaped using four of these wedge slopes together with some tiles. And then the upper layer consists out of some cheese slopes, which are angled using some bars and clips. Then the side air vents are built out of a round plate and a quarter tile. And lastly I also added some side mirrors because I felt like the sides looked a bit plain without them. Now let's continue building again. So I've now added the roof line and I think it's really starting to come together. So the main part of the roof just consists of some black tiles and curved slopes. And then the engine bay decklet area is shaped using a lot of wedge plates, which are angled using lots of different hinge techniques. And then these S-duct fans are built using a similar technique as the ones on the bonnet. Now let's see if I can finish this model. The Ferrari SF90 XX Stradali is now completely finished and I have to say that this ended up being one of my most complex models I've ever built. So to create the tail lights I used some trans red tiles and for the exhaust I used some silver candle pieces and then the rest of the rear is just built using some tiles and brackets and the rear wing was actually quite difficult to attach properly but I ended up making it work using a bar and a modified tile. Then the interior is extremely simple and it unfortunately doesn't fit any minifigures. And I've also made some instructions for this model just like I do for all of my models. However, at the time this video is uploaded I don't have access to my laptop. So they will be uploaded to Rebrickable in about 3 weeks from now. Well that's going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and if you like this video you might enjoy one of these as well.